This is day 437 of the Yorkel Shukun Yomi. If you like to sponsor upcoming Shiro or more of the Yorkel Shukun Yomi, please contact me directly. Very greatly appreciated. Today we're doing Sima Reis Sa'i Ches. Seif Tes to Reis Sa'i Ches. Seif Tes Vav. So, um, we're talking about uh, the uh, the can of for for um, uh, for Abdullah Tess. Rabbi Rabbi Lobin and Orsha Shabbos Kippur Kippur don't need a candle which was on and not used at Yom Kippur. We come from being an air shlo and asa baver and we have to have an air which no air was done. I shall look with Shabbos which is not lit on Shabbos. The light by my legal is so obviously with Jew lighting on Shabbos you can't use it because it was uh, lit by Avera. El afilo legal any other even was lit by non Jew shemutalo to to submit to light a candle on Shabbos. We come upon nevertheless came and show Urazet and it's just like you are legal is so were to be lit by a Jew like Avera but said it would have been Avera in it. A vertical love, you can't make a bracha on it. I feel it with the heaven, Lord Yatsa. And even after the fact, you were not Yatsa with the bracha. The Neshu Lok Behat Tabi Shabbos, a light which is lit for in a special case where it's permitted on Shabbos. I'm going to call the Sheshbos Akara de Yisrael, such as for a person who is ill and in dangerous illness, where Yisrael is allowed to light the candle, because Nefesh. Sheshbos Akara de Ene Yehudi, and Yibchel Sheshbos Akara, where a non Jew can light it for you. And also to a woman who is giving birth, where they live for her, the miracle of they can make the book. In Kanavera, there is no Avera, but other on the contrary, the Eshkan Mitzvah, the Bikoach Nefesh. So the Mitzvah makes it a worthwhile candle. So why is the Dimitan a candle to live by non Jew in a generic case? The Gam Shein Kanavera. Because when Nanju lights it, even though it's not there, Mekomakom got mitzvah in Kan. Nevertheless, there's no mitzvah. Choshulak Meshabbat Shalom and mitzvah, and as the Shabbat without it uh, serving for a mitzvah, Nasa Avera Karina, baby, call it Nasa Avera. Avera was done with it. Avagashen Avera Mamish, even though it's not an actual Avera. Ella Klomar, but rather, Gabi Haner Atzma, in terms of the candle itself, Yeshua Dora the Avera it has the flavor of an Avera. Um Ilisa Lika were a Jew to have lit it under the same circumstances. They mark in there she little nail but it's coming can't make a uh uh broth on a can which is lit in front of my Vinazola. I feel the lack is may as well. Uh even if it's burning from yesterday or the go Matsoy Shabbos or they let him live Matsoy Shabbos, I'm not sure what the Khinish is, but we they saw Surabano, it's less the right benefit from it, including make a broth on it. I guess even though the mitzvah is allowed by the Hennessy to do, but this mitzvah is to derive an off. You're allowed to derive an off from this uh, candle. The Yeshua Shomer, those who say, Shalini, 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 say that when a non Jew lit for the purpose of a, a Jew who was not in danger, the was sick and not in danger, Mikra Shalom 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 it's no good. It's not called that it desisted from the Amalach of Avera. Vrak Mikhol Shalom Shalom only where uh, uh, there is a Jew who is in danger, Mutzu and Ezra still bench in the Israel bench in Yehudi, whether lit by the Jew or the non Jew. But for a Chol that was not in danger, when it was lit by a non Jew, it's like uh, lighting for the non Jew's lighting for himself, in which case it's not, not it's just, it has the flavor of an Avera. Vayner Mokhrak, but the Rakhashon rejects his opinion, which is apparently that of the Elia Rabba. Yud, ain't a Yudi she leaks an emote to Shabbos in Yeshua Yisrael. A non Jew lit a candle to say Shabbos from the candle of a Jew, Mavarkin Alav. You can make a bracha on it. Pashto. It's Pashto that you do that. Okay, so she leaks an air. Nair, she leaks a leak of Shabbos. And a Jew also lit a candle from a candle of a non Jew. Even the non Jew lit it on Shabbos, Mavarkin Alav can make a bracha on it. The guy who got in there, we should not say there, even though the first candle. It has that flavor and have a raw become from the blessed more and don't worry how to service that thing now you're adding make a bracha on the addition and that addition is permissible come come high governor and a yudi she leak minash and a yehudi but if a non-jew lit a candle on shabbos and an, another non-jew lit the candle from his candle then uh aim of our killer we don't make a bracha on it the exam is your mission to say unless you come to make a bracha directly on the first candle now, since it's only a gzera, it's a decree, if you actually made a bracha on the candle lit 
by a non Jew from a candle which is lit by a non Jew on Shabbos, then the yeah, it's okay. Can't lit by a non Jew on Tzoy Shabbos. Can't lit by a non Jew on Shabbos, the yeah, it's okay. Okay, so she lit me near, near, near Shabbos, and we got came with her. And, and if a Jew lit a candle from a candle of a desar, which you can't use, Abdullah, it's also permissible. I forgot to show you a sir by Noah. Even though the flame of the candle of a desar is a sir by Noah, that's when it is still linked up with the original coal, in other words, the original wick. Lokshin in front of man, not when it's separated from it. Now, Shabbos ain't about manish, because we say a flame has no substance to it, and therefore, only as long as it's attached and to the Avodah it's also not once it's been removed. But you should avoid lighting anything from the flame of Avodah Zarah. Because you're not allowed to have to derive benefit from it. If you did it, you can derive benefit from the second candle. Long brackets here. I am going to ask you to do this because of shame. Menachem Azariah. Name the Ramami Fano. The end you do is you leak now the whole name of the A non Jew who lit a candle for a person who's ill from his bonfire. Also, the Baruch Now, they made a brach on it. The Chayen Shahoti Esh Mimotoy Shabbos may eat him a bonim also. Also, because if he made a fire Mimotoy Shabbos from stones or uh, from wooden stones, it's also to use that fire. But what it's moving. It's astonishing. What, what's the, what, if he made those stone fire Mimotoy Shabbos, what's the problem? Now, I'm not going to have a but the Evan Mutter. But you're going to have a but the Evan, it's Mutter. Now, the first halacha we lit for a choyle from a bonfire, so then it's like it's comparable to the halacha of a non Jew who lit from a non Jew. Even though if he lit for a sick person, or a says it seems to be different to him. Nevertheless, you can learn it this way. Um, and. Uh, the Shibura says that there's no difference whether he lit to the, for the Chole, the non-Jew, lit for the Chole on Shabbos from the Jew's bonfire or from his own bonfire, because since it's for the per, per, since it's for the purpose of the Jew and was lit for Hetter, so therefore theoretically should be mutter, despite the Ramah Mifano. But anyway, Avadina Sheni is in the any Rebbe Shum I don't see any prohibition in that. Why should it be also? Um, when he lit on Tzoy Shabbos. They say that if you're going out to the city and you see a light, in Rav Kutim Osir, most people who live in the city are non Jews, it's permissible. It's because we're afraid it was lit before nightfall. Therefore, be a problem of candle which was lit by non Jew on Shabbos. Have a cheating about Lila, but even at night, Loma Yasa, why should be a problem? The Tzarechi and Baduk, and this requires analysis, and you have to analyze it further. Be that as it may, Lamaisa, at least with the evidence, Mozart of Anand, you lit a candle to make a Motsoy Shabbos to make a bracha on that candle. Yudal, play the Chutz the Krach if you're going outside the city, and this is uh, the question which we just uh, to talk about in the brackets. Uh, or you saw a light, you can use the light, you don't know who's, whose light it is. Most of you will say you're not Jews, and you don't make a brach on it. They made it a little before night. They have a candle which is lit in a, in, in, with the flavor of Avera. Like we explained. When you saw most of the people are Jews, a few mechza, mechza, even half, but Barcha Lavi can make a brach on it. Ain't Zemi Sumsh Natsuk, Rob Dafka. It's not a truly awesome thing which requires specifically a true majority. Umil Hefek Lazin and Bezet, Bedini Yisurim. However, we don't do go to the opposite of this uh, in matters of Issa, Lomar, Koko, Boko, Mechza, Mechza Dami, to say that uh, uh, since it's Kavua, right, it's stationary light. So therefore, it's like a suffix, even in suffix, and therefore, yeah, mutar feel above and mutar whatever should be made, even if there's a majority of non Jews. No. So, so for as a who is a Yudi. The final analysis, the fact, the fact is, the light comes from non Jews. My other said in Kavua, what does Kavua work? It's interesting. One just to talk about here. The Deen say in the Dhamma Yusun is not like Isra Vahetar, where uh, you have uh, a different kind of suffix. So, uh, 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 
uh, Isser Hatter, and this is a question of who is providing who's on not. Not sure what the difference exactly is. It requires more analysis. He says, Rile is that Mu Shami. Zel Shano. Mu Shami says, Mother Shikula Kusim, if you have a street which is all non Jews, they saw Echa Darba Soho, and a non Jew uh, lives in it. You'll tell me Shama Ur, and you'll see why come out there, Mavarchi, my and Shama. By the time, what's the reason? The came of the royal the Mishem Mishem and so or you see the light comes there. Vali Shei Yisroelu. You say definitely belongs to the Jew. Velo Shaykh Lelech Masach Harov. And uh, it's not, but you don't go after the majority. Chei Lehevech Mavu. In other words, if you know what he's saying is, if you know for sure uh, that uh, the the light is coming from the Jew, it doesn't matter the majority are non Jews. And vice versa. You know that the non Jew lit the candle, right? Then it doesn't matter that the rest of the Jews. Okay, it's, again, it's an interesting aloha. I'm not sure exactly how to understand this, but you said back as your rabbi, see, when you're not going to say, show the shas to you, and the chukim, and the rabbi says, contradicts our shas, it goes into difficult understandings. He did Shabbos, and he is not there for him shooting. Shane's a demon of Isurim Baduk, he said a symbol that's not like Isurim. I don't know why it's not like Isurim in the final analysis. I think it requires more explanation why it's not. But it says that it's not like an Isur. Um, we say, I guess, I guess we say that it's laying line, along the lines of that this light is not a question of Isur and Mutter, but a question of who's producing the light. And if part of production is non Jews, then it's non Jews. Part of production is Jews. It doesn't help, but I'm not. Happy with my understanding, but there's what I'm saying here, but we'll have to leave it for now. Your base, these are brothers. Says a miracle set brothers. I am a house of God lying outside the tent city. Some of the shkis of Hamra Shabbos, and it's near sunset on Shabbos. Well, I've echoed the whole echo in every other. And you see somebody walking, he has a candle's hands. In all echo God of us, an adult walking, but they were in a hoodie. So he's not a Jew. And you can't make a bracha on this light when it comes dark. You saw Leah might leave me both yom. Because he saw not light during the daytime. Be mahole during Chavez. Be mahole who you cut and if the, the person is going to child, bully car club, check after him. If he is, uh, if he is Yisrael, you can make a bracha on it. Evidently, because it's not going to be in Abeira, I guess. Uh, uh, a non Jewish child, and a Baruch Allah, it's not, you don't make a Baruch on it. The Chola post came, boy, views that it's very difficult concerning what we learned before to say that to say this because uh, it's just because it's a cotton, it still seems to be a flavor of an Abeira. It's a brackets here for the Mugger. He says, I'm Mugger Bros. You can give me Shoma, but say, he says, this is difficult. Why they didn't bring it down? But here it's a Badonic, like I ain't sure because it's a difficult answer. When he is dieting near the office of Shishmito. So the Arashon um, says, no, it's good that he left it in his app. Chorak Hashem, it seems difficult. I feel like Tino Kusha, you saw the Eim Varchim Olav. Eim Varchim Olav, even as we just said, even the kid who's Jewish, I can make the bracha. How he did him be his son, he built Yom, he laid it where it was also during the daytime. So therefore, it seems to be, um, uh, 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 at the very least, a, a, a flavor of Avera, not an outright Avera. Uh, what you can say was a little bit before darkness. Darkness. the suffix that maybe it was nightfall already. So for a non-Jew, you assume he did it earlier during the daytime, but for a Jew, you assume he did it later. But it's difficult to know when precisely that's considered to be okay and when not. That's why the Puskin let the left this out. You came on. I already told him I ate from my volume. A light which comes from stone, uh, sticks and stones. Mabarcha, I make a bracha. Shari Adam, Rishon Becha, Eish Zeshavari. Mother Rishon made a bracha on light which came out of stones. Much time to see how. I'm not saying I'm a kippur and bracha, but not after Yom Kippur. Does mean a Ur should lack every Yom Kippur because you need a light which was lit from before Yom Kippur. These these fires don't last. Can a mabarcha and not saying I'm a kippur and there should be we saw a man of Also, I make a bracha on not saying Yom Kippur on a candle which is Jew lit from a non-Jew. That's okay. Specifically, a light which is light lit from Arab Yom Kippur. And if you don't have that, we'll see what you do when we get to that, uh, the, those halachas. You doubt. Can you call him a boros kokach? Can you call him a boros kokach? 
if you have coals which are so, so aflame, she will make least kiss on the name of that if you put a uh, straw among them, they will get ignited. For the lame, you can make a bracha on them, she will let us lower them, and you can have an off from their light. The name of the dafka, shall seem like here, and this is specifically when these coals are made to illuminate, not to cook. The name of the or she will have a don't make a bracha on a candle for another purpose, not to provide light. The name of the or she will that you don't make a bracha on the light from a furnace when it's lit in order to um, fire bricks. Shows us through the shame of vain and below here that it's made to fire the bricks and not to make light. But after the bricks have been burnt up, have been burnt, not burnt up, then it's made for illumination and bracha to make a bracha in it. So too with anything of this type. The came of that bracha while the or shemayir alone and sarchenos is bracha is the light which illuminates for our purposes. But the shemayir says it's got to be this kind of light which is our our purposes, not for the purposes of uh, any other illumination. Then the shul if you say can't ask for this eich onu mevarcha and nesh abdol shall seem how can make a bracha on a candle of abdol a candle? I ain't a silly lawyer. The shemayir says abdol it's not made for light except it's made for the abdol. Ain't okay. That's not a question. The other rabbis, the hatchet, came to see my soul, mixed with Abdullah, and says, Make it for the purpose of Abdullah. But I'll call the conversation later, we want to illuminate, because the brothers had an illumination. If you're looking at your yotzer, if you didn't make an illumination, you're not yotzer. Then it's kind of the same way, you're the shaitan, we really have a mind to illuminate for that time. But I'm the shaitan Abdullah for the time of Abdullah. You're the shaitan Abdullah, but for that time of Abdullah, come to say, Lord, here, our intent is to illuminate the Zohar Mitzvah, so, and that's the mitzvah. In the test book, Ner shall base a knesses, a candle made for a shul, lomika siloya. That's not called that it's made for illumination. A look base a knesses, it's made for the honor of a shul. But if there's a significant person in the shul, a VIP, mikra siloya, then it's called made for illumination. She legal the days are here, but I'm they made it to illuminate for him. In other words, for his uh, not for the covenant base a knesses, which would not be for human pleasure, but for this person's pleasure. The ancient one of Hashem and Barkham Allah. There's no Hashem person, we don't make a Barkham Allah. The ancient one of Hashem, those say the opposite. The Shesham of Hashem is in the purpose of Hashem. And Barkham Allah. The Shesham of Hashem and Barkham Allah because it's made for him. If he's trying to say it's for the devil all year, it's made for his honor not to illuminate. Shesham of Hashem, not so here. When there is no Hashem person there, it's made to make light. And Barkham Allah to make a Barkham Allah. Mishnah Burah says, uh, if you if you uh, uh, you extinguish the light which is there in the shul, whether it's called basic message, the chavad on the chashav, and then light again for Abdullah, then of course everybody agrees you can use it. Bishop Bruce says also um, when you light a candle in your house for the purpose of the honor of an odom chashav, and not for illumination, you can't make a bracha on it. Back to the The yesh mecher some basic message shamish or chasham. Next to the shul, there's a shamish. Uh, uh, there's a room which the shamish eats. Yes, and there's a window to that room from the shul. We can make a brach on the candle. Show mayor the shamish because it's light for the shamish to eat. But that's only if there's no moonlight in that room. Because when there's moonlight, you could have eaten by the moonlight. He doesn't need the candle. There's basic messages. It seems to me that now we do make brachas on the candles in shul. Because you know they're made to provide illumination for the people. Uh, the Mishnah says the exact opposite. Says so say we don't make a bracha said all on the candles of shul. They only live for, for honor because they they are burning there even during the day. Now he says that he means the explicitly candles are in front of the omen, which are only for cover. But those which people take into their hands to illuminate, you make a bracha. And uh, maybe if you make a torch out of the candles by the omen, that's also okay. But see, see the candles of the omen also could be to illuminate for the chasm. So I'm not, uh, it seems like a big machlekes between the Orach HaShulchan and Mishnah Bura. Be that as it may, Orach continues, the chen in Baruch and the you don't make a Baruch on candle, which is lit for the honor of dead people, Shel Chasayim, lit for the honor of, uh, of grooms. So it's in the Chavay Chavay Lali, they're made for honor not to illuminate. Tafka mace because that's specifically about a type of mace. She would assume that by yom, you got him a little in the If they're taken out during the day, they'll also light a candle for his honor. Does God buy and work and work then also night can't make a bracha on these candles. And by yom, lo him a leak in the air, but during the day, they would not make a candle for this mace. 
It's not that harsh. The Barakin Al said, she who to Mosei Shabbos and never make a bracha if they take out this mace, Mosei Shabbos, with a candle in order to bury him. Abba Bechasan, Kami Luchvara Kedu. By Bechasan, always the candles for his honor. Bechanyan and Barakin Al, no matter what, you can't make a bracha on that candle.